Hello, this is Mike Youngman, CIO, Anchor Star Wealth, giving you a week ending May 31st update. Today I'm going to cover five things in five minutes. I'm going to give you a 54 year market recap, a weekly market recap, Salesforce earnings, AI software versus enterprise software, and then finally I'm going to cover the core value of Anchor Star Wealth in transparency. But before I get started, just have to let you know that this is a financial education presentation. Anything that you hear, you need to do your own due diligence before acting upon. More disclaimer information can be found on anchorstarwealth.com and the opinions are mine and mine alone. So let's get started. 54 years. When we consider volatility in the market and the concern with markets going up and down, let's look at a 54-year graph of just the S&P 500 to give us a general idea. When you look at this graph, does it go towards the ceiling or does it go towards the floor? So since 1970, if you took $10,000, it would be up to 2.6 million. And when you see some of those little dips in there, you'll see things like you know, 9-11 terrorist attack, um, Lehman Brothers files for bankruptcy, the first confirmed COVID case. And this is from our friends at First Trust that gives me this graph. But you can see, generally, things go up. And that's why in the long term, when you consider volatility, is it a foe or a friend, it lets us buy things on sale. But overall, we know things are going up. And you know, for 54 years, this would be proof that they do go up. Stocks, and this does not work just for individual stocks. Individual stocks go in and out of business. So this is the overall market. But what did the market do this week? And I hate to look at such a, a short time frame, but last week we were talking about the highs of the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. It was all exciting and it went down this week. So on a weekly basis, and, and you're looking at the S&P 500 and I'm gonna show you the NASDAQ as well. Both of them down and then a slight recovery on Friday, but that's very, very short term. And we should think of that as a chance to buy, buy things on sale. Why did it go down? What was the primary reason? Salesforce.com, which many of us have worked with in the past at other companies or we work with now, massive drop, massive drop. And you can see this is their five day graph and they've recovered some. And what we're seeing and those that work in the IT industry would understand this is there is a limited IT budget. How much money can you spend on AI and how much money can you spend on other enterprise software and what's value add? Right now, AI is hot. You know, NVIDIA earnings were last week. We saw that go up. Um, what we saw this week is Salesforce went way down on lowered forecasts, missed earnings, and just that overall projection. And they brought a lot of companies down with them, including cybersecurity, other cloud, other backup, uh, just lots of companies that are enterprise software that can be seen as an expense and maybe not a value add. And I'm not saying that Salesforce doesn't have value add because it does, but that's the way it's seen. And IT budgets are only so far. Here's an article that even shows about, you know, software stocks get pummeled on this. And, and I highlighted this one right here. Artificial intelligence represents a competing priority. So your IT department only has so much to, to invest. So with that, the last thing I wanted to cover is the Anchor Star Wealth core value of transparency. So at Anchor Star Wealth, we certainly do not want any hidden fees. We're very upfront, upfront in our fees and how we make money. But the open investment strategy is what I really wanted to hit on because we deal with a lot of different clients and we will talk and engage as much or as little as you want. Some people want to learn about the stock market, where their money's going, how it's invested, and that's great. And certainly our team's willing to engage at that level. And other people are like, I just want to focus on my job and my family and just enjoy that. I trust you guys will get that up and we're willing to engage that way as well. But it's just a core value to have that transparency. And with that, if you look at the videos below that are linked, you can see our previous morning shows where we talked about NASDAQ highs, which seems so long ago uh, on a short week on Tuesday, preparing for the AI world. There was an update, Steve gave an update on Bitcoin, and then of course we hit the Salesforce earnings. So with that, I'll close this out. 
Everybody enjoy your weekend. Thank you.